is Hugo's interior. That's it. So the new car should be here tomorrow or Tuesday. One int, it's a uh, late 90s car. It's 1999. So yeah, that's all I'm going to say. Hello, this is Jake and welcome back to another video on my automotive channel. I haven't done one in quite a while, um, been so busy, so many different things going on with my other channel, with building models, searching for cars, all this, it's just, it's been manic. Um, but before we jump into all the latest news, please remember to like and subscribe to my channel. So, with the big news... The Porsche 911, my Porsche 911 Targa 2002 that was wrapped in Interference Pearl Purple, is now gone. Um, it went, what we know, Sunday today. So it went exactly one week today. It had gone to the new owner. Nice guy. He's going to enjoy it. It was his dream car as well. So like me, I always wanted a, Por a Porsche 911 with those headlights, the 996 headlights. So he's going to enjoy it hopefully as much as I did. Um, there's a couple reasons for selling it and everything. I'll get into them in a bit. Uh, but obviously the problem I got now is I need an everyday car. So I've been car searching for a long time. I got my mind set on three different cars. And I've decided that over this year and next year, I'm going to try out some of the cars I wanted to try, like the Porsche 911 as a kid. Now, unfortunately, it's not going to be anything like the Diablo just yet or the Gallardo. You know, or even the uh, 1970 Challenger. So, yeah. But I did achieve, obviously, getting a Fiat 500 Yugo um, a couple of years back. And I'm driving him as an everyday car at the moment because he's the only car I got available. So it's been nice to spend an extra week with Yugo because, um, you know, getting in a Porsche 911, taking it for drive, I just fall in love with it every time. But there's a reason I've sold it. Um, in fact, it's right here. So there you go. Uh, let me get a reflection of the way there. She is. Lovely photo of her there. And of course, that is what she looked like before I had the wrap and the body kit done. And then there's Hugo, Michael and Seb. And then obviously my Bar 595 Competizione with Hugo. So after 28 years, I'm finally moving out of my parents' house. Now... You're probably thinking, well, why didn't you move out, you know, years ago? Um, I was born with a dodgy art, and unfortunately, I continue to have art problems now. Um, I have a mechanical valve I had done when I was four, and a pacemaker fitted. Pacemakers get changed every, depending on, you know, my age and that, five to seven years. Um, so I, I have a pacemaker, got to be careful what I do. And because I have a mechanical valve, I'm on warfarin. So that's one of the reasons I don't do a lot of the work on my cars myself, because I can't afford to cut myself, because I would bleed quite a lot. So that's one of the reasons I've never left home. And I've decided that, you know, I got to, I got to do it now. Um, it's a big change for me, because like I said, I've lived here 28 years. And it's definitely something I want to do. So... I have to sell a Porsche 911 because wherever I move to, I don't want to, you know, even if it's a flat or whatever, um, I don't want to be leaving a Porsche 911 out in a car park or on the side of the road. So that's one of the reasons. Two, the Porsche is quite expensive to run. I want a cheaper car to run because, you know, paying for my own property and house and all this and paying out the bills, you got to do it. So in a long, in one way, it's a sensible decision because I, I think it's the right move for me. I am going to miss the 911, but it doesn't mean I can have a nice car that just doesn't cost as much to run. So in the next couple of days, you will see my new car. It was actually meant to be here Friday. It's Sunday today. Unfortunately, there's a few complications, not with the car. Um, the person who was arranging the delivery and everything is coming from a shop. So there's a few problems there. It's nothing serious, hopefully. Um, fingers crossed he's okay and everything and the car should be uh, early either tomorrow or tuesday we'll see but i'll keep you updated with that it's a car like the porsche 911 that i've wanted since i was a kid and i'm really looking forward to it it's one of those cars that i did have a lot of models of just like the porsche 911 there's one on the table right in front of me now so yeah can't wait to show you all it's a limited edition there's not too many of them around so that's nice and it's got loads of paperwork and history with it which i like having with a new car 
Um, one int, it's a uh, late 90s car. It's 1999. So, yeah, that's all I'm going to say. But I'm going to try and stick with 90s cars because that's the cars I fell in love with. Um, but anyway, let's go and have a look at Hugo and I'll update you on him. And just a quick update on my Ella Bella. She turned seven on Friday. And we did buy her a toy, but she's not too bothered. She's just enjoying the sun we have today. Um, it's actually quite a nice day. It was freezing cold this morning because I um, I pressure washed my sister's car. Here's some pictures. Nice clear drive today. And here's Hugo. So, yeah, here he is. Here is the famous Fiat 500 Hugo. Everyone loves him around the forest at the moment. Um, so like I said, I've been driving him a lot because obviously the Porsche's gone. Um, so this is my everyday car at the moment. And it has it has been really nice to drive him, spend a lot more time with him. So we got some work to do on Hugo this year. Now, unfortunately, just because everything went on over Christmas and before Christmas, we did not have time to get his engine out and do a rebuild. So that will be happening next winter now. But we will do next winter loads of videos of doing the engine rebuild on Hugo. Um, I'm not even going to comment about that mark there, but it was my own silly thought, um, unfortunately. But there he is. So I have some things planned. I have some stuff on order for Hugo. I'll just point them out now. We're going to have new side repeaters right there and new indicator lenses because these are clear. Now, I went with clear because there was clear on now when I bought him. Um, but I'm going to go with the orange. I just want to... Put a bit of a more look on him and i think the orange indicator lenses will work uh really well with that i need to clean up the wing mirrors as well put some we've gone a little bit like rust spots and everything so we'll get that sorted but the big job of 2021 is is hugo's interior so here's his interior here it's actually fairly clean you know i I have decided that I'm going to completely change it and we're going with a beige interior on Hugo. Now, when I was looking for a Fiat 500 original one, when I come along Hugo, obviously you had the black interior, and I was really looking for the cream with the beige interior. Now, unfortunately, that didn't pop up. So, I ended up with Hugo in a cha-cha blue, which is very nice. I love the colour. I'd never change this colour. I do like the blue. But I've decided that I'm going to do his interior in beige. So that means buying new carpet, seat covers, rear seat covers, of course, um, door trims like these here, door cards and the rear cards as well. Now, you can get all the stuff pretty easy. Um, it'll probably be sourced from uh, Auto Bella, because that's where I buy all this stuff from. Um, but yeah, that's the plan. We're going to completely do his interior out in beige, just because the interior I wanted. Now... Uh, people have said to me that it's not going to be original, um, but f I know for a fact that Hugo wasn't originally blue. Hugo was originally cream, and his um, bonnet and boot are red. So at some point in its life, it has had a respray. So there's nothing saying that the interior is completely original neither. Um, so I made a decision. I've got to do it. And I've got to sell none of the interior. I will keep it, store it, because... You never know, I might end up with another Fiat 500. I will get another Fiat 500 one day. So you guys will see that, I promise you all. We will have a new Fiat 500 here one day. Well, a new classic Fiat 500. I haven't said no to actually buying a new Fiat 500 as well, a modern one. And when I was on the car hunt, I was looking at a bath again. I did say to you all that, you know, I, I'm thinking about getting another bath and everything. And I was. I was actually planning on buying an Abarth. However, I started looking at some cars that I wanted as a kid. And they turned out to be really cheap and really cheap to run. So, yeah. I can't wait to share it all with you. But there's Hugo. There's nothing really else i got to do with him. I did um, sort the number plate out. So when he runs, the number plate was really rattling. And I thought it just wasn't tight enough. It turns out it's the brackets coming down. It weren't tight so that's sorted because that was very annoying um there's nothing really more i can say about him i will put new wheels on him that is the plan i did say before that i was going to do new wheels and cream um and hopefully that uh blend in well with the interior 
but Hugo is my baby and he's not going anywhere okay so there's a bit of an update on my um, my cars now yeah like I said before it's very sad that the Porsche 911 has gone um, but you know I explained why and it is time to move on and start a new uh, chapter of my life so yeah that is basically everything that's happened um with Hugo the Porsche has gone like I said I, I hope that the new owner is very happy with it uh, we are staying in contact for now because there's a few more things just to sort out um but yeah that's it so the new car should be here tomorrow or Tuesday but um I can't wait to share it with you like I said it is a it is a limited edition or special edition or whatever you want to call it I would say special edition it is a special edition I'm looking forward to it it's in a very unique color chances are well I haven't seen one on the road for a number of years now um, I think I did see a couple at the Worcester car show uh, last year one or two I think I got pictures on my computer actually um, but it's a car I've always wanted it's German it's a 1999 and it's in a unique special edition color so I can't wait to share it with you all it's great so thank you all for watching I will see you all soon and bye until next time